Hi everyone, I wanted to give you an update on what happened this past week with the Supreme Court ruling that ended Trump's Remain in Mexico policy. What does it mean for Arizona? Well, obviously it's a win for the Biden administration, but for us, from a practical standpoint, it means more of the same. More illegal immigrants coming into our state in, in record numbers. In the Yuma sector alone, we've seen a 2,000% spike and there's just more to come. So what can you do about it? Well, you can start by electing principled conservative leaders who have a record of standing up for border security. When I was your legislator, I voted to fund building the wall and provide our border sheriffs with the resources they needed to stop the influx of illegal immigration. This is happening at a time when we cannot afford the drain on our resources. We have record inflation and um, record gas prices that we're all seeing at the pump, and it needs to stop. As your legislator, I will propose legislation to make it in the Constitution that we prevent sanctuary cities, number one. Number two, I will require local law enforcement to work with ICE to identify and apprehend illegal immigrants so they can be returned to their home country. Number three, I will publish annual statistics on crimes committed by illegal immigrants so that we can increase awareness of what this means for our state. Number four, I will stop contracts with the state with any entity that is engaged in the transportation of illegal immigrants for resettlement. And finally, I think we need to step in and fill the void of the Biden administration when it comes to China. We all know China is making the fentanyl. They're transporting it to Mexico. The drug cartels are having a field day with our open border and getting it into our communities. And we're all being hurt by it when we see our sons and daughters dying from fentanyl overdoses. Enough is enough. We need strong leaders, and I hope you will support me in our efforts to secure the border and vote for Maria Sims when you get your early ballot on July 7th or on Election Day on August 2nd. Thank you so much. I'd be honored to have your support.